Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Teresa with Amethyst and Moon Creations. And I just wanted to show you something I grabbed at Walmart yesterday. I thought it was pretty cool. It is this Montana Opoly and it's a Montana version of Monopoly. I don't know if they're doing any for any other states. I haven't looked up any to see if I can find any other ones and that'd be really cool if they did one for all 50 states. That would be neat. That'd be neat if they did one for other places too that weren't states, you know, like other countries or anything. But I don't know what states might have them. I don't know if any other states do. I just, you know, I just know what I saw yesterday at Walmart and I thought, well, you know what, this is pretty cool. I'm going to grab it. Me and my family will have a great fun playing it because I think it's really awesome. Anyways, it's pretty cool. Just like, a, you know, set up like a regular Monopoly board. Oops, sorry, this part's upside down. And everything. Um, I did actually open it before I started recording it because I tried to record a video when I before well, I, before it opened it. And it was really hard to re open and record at the same time because I'm using my phone. So just want to give you guys an overview of it. Here's the board and it folds into, you know, a little square like most Monopoly boards do and everything. And we've got, you know, the instructions and it looks like, you know, it's pretty similar to regular Monopoly and stuff and everything. Just one little sheet of instructions, but pretty decent instructions. Anyways, and there's, you know, your go and it says you collect your twenty dollars as you pa as you go to Montana. And then you've got, you know, like Huckleberry ice cream and then the big fun cards, Buffalo Chili, you pay property tax, um, Russell County Oh no, Russell Country, sorry. Hard to read with into the folds. And then you got Garnet Ghost Town, and then your contingency card, um, Mile City, Bucking Horse Sales the Crow Fair and Rodeo, the old Montana State's Prison, which is just, go, just ghost hunting, which is pretty cool because they do ghost hunting little trips down there and little tours and stuff. In fact, a friend was telling me about one today that um, they're going to do, they're doing one, I think, in August, she said. And I don't know what exactly it, what it, what y'all you get to do down there, but it's some kind of ghost hunting tour, which would be really awesome to do, I think. And then there's a pickle barrel, and then the Rocky Mountains, the Grand, the Grand Hotel, which I don't know if that's which one that is. I know we have one here called the, but it's called the Calspo Grand Hotel, so it might be, it's probably one in a different area of Montana, but it's still pretty cool. Big Sky Resort, um, Gold West Country. It is that one. Cutthroat Trout, another big fun. Sorry about the glare on its sunshine through the windows hitting the board. American Bison, Grizzly Bear, Free Treasure, Two Medicine Lake, another contingency, Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park, Bighorn River, Missouri River Country, Going to the Sun Road and Glacier, Little Bighorn Battlefield, Missouri River, and then Museum of the Rockies, and then that right there, Go to Old Montana Prison, the Dinosaur Trail, Indian Nation, another big fun draw card, Yellowstone National Park, Custer Country, and Glacier National Park, another contingency, TP Camping, and then Big Sky Country, and then back to Go We Go. And everything, there's, you know, where the cards go right there, the center of the thing. And then here's the money. It all, you know, looks the same as this one does here and everything, how they have it. I think they should have had some, like, you know, more little things that kind of made it look, you know, like Montana. I mean, it would have been kind of cool if it had, like, little bears or whatever on it or fish or wildlife or hiking and camping or parks or whatnot. But the are still pretty cool. And then, let's see, these ones. Okay. Then you got the contingency cards right here. And you get, like, this one. Oops. As I throw it at myself, this one is um, life elevated, collect ten dollars for every player, from every player for the new rock climbing gear. Um, this one, you are crowned Miss Montana, collect a hundred dollars. There's a there's a bear over there. Stay calm, slowly move back three spaces, and then big fun. Fine dining, events to Buffalo Chili's. Happy with your f new fly fishing reel, pay $75, things like that. Okay, you've been elected governor of Montana, pay $20 to every person who voted for you. <laughs> 
and then we've got our oops, move those over. We got our deeds and stuff. Like this one is Buffalo Chili. And it tells about it. Like this right here tells all about it How, and everything, the mortgage value, and then the rent. And then it shows you what it has with you have a small town, two, three, four small towns, or a big city, and all of that kind of stuff. And well, before I go any further with those, these are actually I actually the houses, and these little green ones are the big, the small towns, and the big red ones are the big cities. So it's pretty cool. Instead of having houses and hotels, you got small towns and big cities. And let's see, there's one cutthroat trout, which I don't know how you can notice it's not a place. That's so kind of weird. I think these would all be places on here, but. It's our state fish, but still, it tells about the, you know, being our state fish and everything. But it's still kind of weird that, you know, you can put a town on a cutthroat trout. I'm sure that cutthroat trout would not be approved or pleased with that. I mean, the American bison. I don't, let's see, this this talks about the bison ranch we have down in Moise and everything. It's pretty cool down there. It's really neat. You got bison. I haven't been down there for years, but last time I was down there, they have bison and all sorts of other animals down there. So this one, I guess, it's a little bit of both. It's American bison, but it talks about the bison range. So maybe it's, you're putting that on the bison range. I don't know. Maybe this is on. The, maybe this one for the cutthroat trout is on the river. <laughs> what would hope? Because I don't think you really want to put on a cutthroat trout. And this one's grizzly bears, and tells how many grizzlies are in the state, and tells about you know about them in the state and everything. Like this one, one more I'll do. This is going to the Sun Road, which is a beautiful tour through Glacier Park and tells all about it and all that. I mean, it's all about every, they all have information about each particular place or the what they are and stuff like that and everything. So there's a lot of them. It's really cool that they have all that. And then, of course, you got your normal dice. Nothing special about them. And then last but not least, we do our little pieces. And let me scoot all these over. I've got a little mess here. Anyways, we've got our grizzly bear. And he's pretty cool. If I can get my camera to focus here so you can see him. He's pretty cool. Little grizzly bear stand on his hind legs. We got a Native American face and a headdress. And then we've got an old cowboy hat. Oops, there we go. Ah, there we go. Focus. And then we got a ponderosa pine. Little flat ponderosa pine. I think you need to be a little more three-dimensional. And then we've got a awesome hiking shoe. And I think I got all those right. Anyways, if you guys like what I like this video and everything, please give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. And if you guys happen to see one of the same kind, any of these kind, of like in your state, from your state please give me a shout and let me know. I'd love to know more about them and see if they have more different ones and what they look like inside and everything else. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.